It's been a while. It's been three whole years and then some. Um, I don't want to be making this video, but um, I need to catch you up on things. Um, I guess I should just go in reverse order since um, I'm kind of sat in front of one of the big pieces of news in my life is that Kaiser passed away last week. Um, it's just 11 great years is what we had and that will never be taken away. Um, and he's there with us, so, and he's with Harvey and Zara, um, and three years ago, oh, not related to COVID, but it was very soon into lockdown that my granddad passed away. My stepdad's dad, Walt, he, um, he just passed away very suddenly. Uh, he was a huge character, a huge force of life, and, um, a lovely person. So that happened. And then, <laughs> you know, they say bad news comes in three. Well, here's the third piece of news. Um, I have stage four kidney disease. Um, they discovered a rare protein in my kidneys. It's a form of amyloid. And I went through a lot of tests. I even went to London and had a lot of tests done. And they still couldn't identify it. But what they do know is that it has scarred my kidneys so much that they are operating at 24%. And this will continue to deteriorate over the next two to three years. And basically, once you get under this threshold, there's no coming back from it. There's a lot of things you can do to counteract the, you know, impairment of the kidneys, but these procedures are very invasive and they're not usually taken into account the fact that the person having them has uh, already got, is, uh, is already compounded with lots of other illnesses predominantly my porphyria, which I had a very bad flare up um, due to some new medication that I was trialing back in January. Um, I only took it for 10 days, but it, it um, really basically led, left me bedridden. Um, and I, I just, it was, it was scary, uh, but I, I came off it and I'm fine now. And that's kind of the, one of the weird things is that I'm fine. My heart beats a little bit faster and I don't have, I, I simultaneously don't have as much energy as I used to have. And yet I don't feel as though I'm different. And it's very weird to be told that you're dying when you just 
uh, moving along at the same rate you always were. Especially, I think, because we were in lockdown, everything slowed down. And so, I guess maybe I have false memories of how active I used to be, like going to London um, and swimming. I don't know. I got sidetracked. I was saying that um, because of my porphyria, the options for treating my kidney disease, um, it was left down to me and I made the decision to not receive treatment. And I think that it's important, as I was just saying, for me to live out the rest of my life, however long that may be, um, with as much life as I can, rather than add hospital stays and treatment and invasive procedures on top of it um because i'm still gonna have to do all that stuff anyway because of my porphyria and as things progress my porphyria could get worse and that is what I would like to focus on. Um, yeah, I don't know. It sucks. It really sucks to come here and have to tell you that. Um, but I thought it would be weird if I started uploading videos again and this news was just there and I hadn't like announced it to you. Um, yeah. So, um, I would like to start uploading vi videos again, um, and I just needed to sort of rip the band-aid off, um, so moving forward, what have I got to look forward to? Plenty of stuff. Um, I am going to do a revisitation of the clown, <laughs> a re-revisitation, because, uh, October and, uh, uh, is the 20th anniversary um, and uh, my stepsister Katie who you all know from the clown we're gonna go revisit the location because she can drive now so we're gonna go see that uh, and I'll take you with me and I'll be telling more things as the year goes on um, you know sad times but you know also it is just life that's all it is we all have one we all die i'm not special um i'm just doing it in my own way so um <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you all very very soon